Hey guys, this is Drifflop and I'm here for Five Nights at Freddy's and yeah, I'm doing the mobile version. <laughs> See? So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm using Reflector 2 to like record this if you want to buy it. It's in the description below. I probably just don't do it because right now it's like messing up my screen and whatever. And I bought this and I kept typing in the code thing and it says I haven't purchased it and it's not correct. I mean, I bought the code and whatever. And yeah, I just wasted a lot of money. So yeah, I was just... Someone sue these people. Family P3 are looking for a security guard to work the night shift and whatever. I didn't quite get that. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm listening to the phone call. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming. What's that banging? But I can tell you, there's nothing to worry about. Is, was one of them missing? So, let's just focus on getting you from your first. Okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. And it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Guys Mary's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days to as soon as possible and permanently thoroughly clean this leak and the carpet to bed replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and you can show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up to get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without a costume on. Now, since that's against the rules of your fast bears pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves were filled with cross-beam, wired, animatronic devices especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forced to be pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of... Bit oh, of one of them just moved. Uh, the only part of the Wait there. Like the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth pop out the front of the mask. Because, yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first they should be agreed. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras. Like this? Close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Oh. Gotta power. Alright, good night. Ah.
could have sworn I saw something in there. Yay! So that was the first episode of Five Nights at Freddy's version, mobile version, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more. Yeah, my phone is not doing this. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.